Hi, my name is Mark Wheeler. I'm a hospitals physician at Tallahassee Memorial. I've been here about 20 years working, and today we're going to try to debunk some concerns and myths about the COVID vaccine. The second dose of vaccine that some people have had hesitancy about taking, some of the vaccines are one dose only and some have a two-part component such as the Moderna vaccine. The second dose of the Moderna vaccine specifically did have some localized side effects that was concerning to, to patients, but this was very limited and it had to do with soreness in the location of the shot and sometimes flu-like symptoms that were self-limited to about 12 hours or so in the most severe cases. Nothing went beyond 24 hours and there's really been no shown side effects beyond that in terms of anything long, uh, long term with um, anything more severe. And when you look at the number of vaccines that have been administered in the millions, tens of millions, and to not have found anything thus far, that is a very encouraging um, sign that we're on the right track with this and the risk of significant side effects is extremely low. The concern about that this was rushed through the FDA has come up as well and, and it, sure there are times where anything that is approved on an emergency basis such as these vaccines there is a risk because you don't have the long-term data to, to know if, if there are anything long-term. The numbers currently, I believe, are somewhere around 32 million cases of COVID in the United States, which is about one in 10 per individual or with the pop, based on the population. And so the risk of getting COVID versus the risk of potential side effects that are in theory only it, the, the benefit far of the, the vaccine far outweighs the risk to the, at least to what we can see from a medical standpoint. Really, there's not been any concern there from the medical community standpoint at looking at this vaccine, looking at the data and, and in general. And again, with the number of patients that have been vaccinated, and what little we've seen in terms of side effects and complications and different things, it's really, it's really um, not, not something that should be a concern to patients about you know, what the government's doing, et cetera. I think they would be far better served to, to take the vaccine at this point, be supported by their medical community. And I think most physicians, most medical providers will be recommending the vaccine if they were to ask them, including their primary doctors who they trust. I think pretty much universally, there's gonna be a recommendation to take the vaccine. A final concern to address would be the with regards to um, infertility related to COVID vaccine. I have not personally seen any data to support this uh, concern or any findings that there is an infertility associated with this. Granted, it's still fairly new. We've only really been aggressively vaccinating since December, so it's a few months out. But again, the, the risk to benefit ratio far outweighs the benefit in terms of COVID vaccines. And you take care of the mom and you essentially take care of the baby down the road. So. There, there hasn't been any, any um, incidences that I'm aware of or the medical community has been made aware of of infertility directly related to these vaccines. And uh, the, the, uh, the, the final summary again is the benefit far, far outweighs the risk.